Korg Micro Preset from a guy in Canada. I just worked on this, had all kinds of issues. Uh, not the least of which, uh, ba ba uh, the capacitors drop acid all over the board, unprotected traces melt. So check yours uh, right now. <laughs> See what shape they're in, scrape down the corrosion, coat it with clear coat and or just on this one I had to overpass it with wires because it is melted badly and uh, actually went through and killed uh, three of the, f you'll, you'll lose three functions on the wood or uh, yeah, reed or wood and you'll um, lose the synthy parts too. In his case he'd put in new Korg 35 filters and one of the pins got shorted there which caused part of the brass to to be wappy and we got that back and the slider came back and we fixed that issue but uh, Cynthia still didn't work because of a bad trace there and then uh, the envelope had an issue and it turned out to be this little C945 transistor which had a short in it and that's very odd because I mean we're talking about a complete loss of reality here folks this if you look at the schematic you know you've got um, a um, connection where everything was normal on the trigger. It goes up to 5.8 volts or whatever and buffers, you know, uh, this transistor buffers it from 12 volt rail to drive the potentiometers here which you set the attack in the middle and you should have about 100 K ohm of resistance to a capacitor. Now there's a diode, you know, letting it only in and then a diode only letting it out on the sustain. When you release the key, the voltage goes down and the current flows off the capacitor through the sustain back to zero on the when the trigger drops. So anyway, um, we've got 100 K ohm here and the diode between 5.8 volts and it should gradually go charge the cap up to 5.8 volts because it's buffered with another transistor Q29, the one we replaced. That one was leaking. Now the signs were all wrong. It went and dropped down to 2.6 volts at the capacitor. Okay, so how did it do that? Because we got 12 volts and if it's leaking it should have been pulling it up, right? I. I pulled the 10K resistor that goes to the filter. It made no difference in the leakage I was checking uh, and got a discrepancy between my M500 and this one. I was ABing them and I got a discrepancy uh, not on the capacitor. They both measured a little bit of leak there, but I measured uh, a leak on the other side of the transistor on the emitter to ground and that means you know there was something over there leaking on that side or it's the transistor so I pulled the 10k resistor going to the filter it made no difference the other option is the 820k I cleaned the board with flux cleaner it still did it and turned out it was that transistor causing the discrepancy however the manifestation was that it would leak the voltage down to 2.6 and that's only tied to 12 volts so somebody please Write in the comments on this video, you will, I will PayPal you 10 bucks if you know <laughs> where, I'm such a cheapskate. But anyway, it just, you know, it's kind of a comedic moment because we're talking about an apparent violation of the laws of physics here. So if somebody has an actual explanation of where the leak to 2.6 volts would come from, don't write any funny physics. I don't want any scalar physics explanations. <laughs> anyway, okay. So another quick note: the micro preset. I wasn't aware of this. You can actually combine. So, so here's our uh, bassoon. Here's our synthy too, and here they are combined. You can actually combine things on this. I never knew that. I've had that, and, and it's neat combinations. You can get some really great. Check this out. You know, I mean, this is this is a great discovery. I he told me that he had seen it in some forum, and I I wasn't aware of that. I'd never tried it for some reason. But you can get two buttons to stick down at once. Maybe you can do three. I don't know. You probably can. Oh yeah, yeah, you can get. 
anyway, have fun trying all the combinations. I'm not going to do them all here. But but that is great. And these are great sound sense. They have two Korg 35 filters. And they uh, are arranged to, you know, be involved with the different presets and the synthy parts here to give the, the, some distinguishing uh, characteristics to the filtering process on those too, basically. And um, so... Got these vibrato going and the portamendas, of course. <laughs> Get those nice sci fi sounds and the. How about the uh, pink noise overlapped with. Well, let's try it with a long attack. Nice, huh? Or with the voice. So anyway, have fun with that. It's um, if you haven't discovered that as I had, not discovered that. But yeah, great little sense for under value. There's one on eBay right now for 4.29. Buy it now. Um, that's a that's a great deal for a classic mono synth from Korg. So um, yeah, have a have a great one. Oh, and what is this? You might ask, huh? That is the spinner. This is going to set on the bearing. I made a plate there that will take this uh, weird fitting that I had parted off. It was a flange based thing. And um, I'm going to put a tube in there that joins the horn with the hole. And then this will set on the bearing and the compression driver drives it up. This whole thing will spin around. I put counterweight on there. Somebody lost this thing. It's for the old uh, it's for the old uh, Oliver Orbital Sound Projector, which is kind of a rarity. And uh, so, yeah, inside here you've got just a motor and um, a uh, bearing there and a crossover cap for the compression driver. And so the, it's purely designed to just take an external signal and then it parts uh, you can you can put an output that's got a L pad on it too but mostly it just controls the bottom speed and gives you a switch that you can speed up slow down and uh, what else it's got a it's got an input speed up slow down the mode is the switcher and then you can uh, def have a foot switch to defeat the horn uh, if you want to so yeah, it makes it so you can just have the low end or the high end on a switch. Pretty cool unit. But anyway, fun, fun. I should frame that transistor. That's <laughs> the transistor that generates negative voltage <laughs> internally. All right.